No, finish your story about the spring festival. Oh, right. Yeah, it was amazing. We walked over the bridge and down the hill into this huge field of flowers. What kind of flowers were they? Uh, wildflowers. You belong among the wildflowers. I do. I really do. Then I saw a rabbit with long, long ears. How long were those ears? They were so long! You know, I think that might be a little distracting. Let's get, let's just get something. Oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> hey, do you want to tell the story again? No! I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and welcome, welcome to, to the So and So Show. show. Hey, we've had a fun time cooperating this month, or as I like to say, co oping Yeah, I recently co opted a bag of spring greens. You cooperated with some lettuce? <laughs> no, no, no. There's a local food co-op that does crop swapping. Oh, so what did you trade for the spring greens? Well, I make my own campfire starter from lint and hair I get out of my dryer. Remind me not to go camping with you. But while I was at the swap, I got to thinking about the so-and-so show and right. how much we depend on cooperation around here. Oh, it's true. Everyone here has to work together to make the show happen. Mm -hmm. If someone wasn't doing their part, the, the show would be completely different. Right. For instance, if we didn't have someone running the camera, it would oh, oh it'd be terrible. It'd be terrible. Just like that. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy playing on the floor as much as the next person. But yeah, yeah, there's a limit. Right, right, right. So, so thank you, thank you, camera operators, for My making folks. a scene. That's right. Okay. Uh, nice. Okay. What about the sound guy? What, oh, yeah. what would we do without his talent? Mm. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Oh, oh, let's not forget the hair and makeup artist. Without her, we'd be completely unrecognizable. Yes, thank you, makeup artist, for working together with us and our faces to make us look good. Or at least okay. Yeah. And how could we forget the set decorator and costume designer? Yeah. Yeah, I think our normal clothes are a little loud. What? I said I think our normal no. clothes are... Oh, it's good. Thank you, costume designer and set decorator from the bottom of our hearts for making us presentable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then, uh, of course, Kellen. Yeah, where would we be without Kellen and his cooperation? What he brings every single week absolutely makes the so-and-so show. Guys, you're embarrassing well, it's me. it's true. And thank you, Kellen, for helping us make this show happen. Anytime. How about making it happen right now? Ah! It's Bible story time with Kellen. You know, one of my favorite parts of doing the so-and-so show is getting to see and hang out with everyone that makes the show happen. Doing the show is a part of my weekly routine, and I always look forward to it. We always look forward to seeing you, too. After makeup and wardrobe, of course. Oh, of course. So you have a Bible story for us? I do. It's about how the early church had to work together and depend on each other daily. Wow. We can't wait to hear it. Take it away, Kellen. You can read about the beginnings of the early church in the book of Acts. It was written by a guy named Luke. Here's what he wrote. The believers studied what the apostles taught. They shared their lives together. They ate and prayed together. The early church cooperated with one another. And speaking of cooperation, here are two sisters who are always trying to work together to make things better. Dee Dee and Jackie, the cheer squad. What up, ladies? Oh, hey, Kel. I got a question for you both. Oh, hit us up. As twin sisters and as members of a cheer squad, cooperating with one another has to be huge. 
Kale, we were working together even before we were born. So true. <laughs> but... Do we always work together well? Nah. nah. But we do live together, eat together, and pray together. Amen. Amen. The early church worked together in even more ways. Check this out. All the believers were together. They shared everything they had. They sold property and other things they owned. They gave to anyone who needed something. So the new believers, they lived in a time and a place where it was dangerous to be a follower of Jesus. They had, they had to depend on one another. They had to have each other's back. You know what? Show them what I mean, cheer squad. Let's bring it, Dee Dee. And kick it. Dee Dee, you got my back. Yeah, girl. And I know you got mine. Then let's show them how we do. Got my back, got my back, that's right, I know. Got my back, got my back, got my back, that's right, I know. Got my back. Every day, we're sharing. Every day, we're caring. Need some dough? Here you go. Need a crib? I'm your sis. Got my back. Got my back, that's right, I know. Got my back, got my back, got my back, that's right, I know. Got my back. Slain it as usual, ladies. The early believers shared together, prayed together, worshiped together, and guess what? People noticed. Listen to this. Their hearts were glad and sincere. They praised God. They were respected by all the people. Every day, the Lord added to their group those who were being saved. People saw how the early followers of Jesus treated one another and how they made it a habit of working together, and it made those people want to be a part of it. I wonder if that would happen today if we made a habit of cooperation. What do you think, cheer squad? Give me a C! C. Give me two O's! Oh, oh. Give me a P! P! Give me a E! E! Give me a R! Let's give it up for the cheer squad. Thank you so much, ladies. And I'm pretty sure that will be in my head all day long. Man, that cheer squad is ridiculous. Yes, they are. And they also make an excellent point. The new believers who started the church were able to make such a huge difference because they made a habit of cooperating every single day. Which is, which is something we should all be aiming for. So true. I'll see you guys next time. And hey, thanks for what you do. Right back at you, Kellen. You know, I just thought of someone else on our show that our show couldn't do without. Who's that? Reveal the question. Our special effects team. Yes. Oh. Thanks, special effects team. Whoa. How do you cooperate every day? Yeah, I don't know if you know this about me, but I can get... Distracted? Yes. Yeah. So I actually put it on my calendar. I get a little reminder every day. Have you cooperated with someone today? Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. And you know, it doesn't have to be some huge thing. It can be working with a sibling to finish chores. Yeah, or, or helping a classmate understand the assignment. Or just asking your parents, what can I do to help? Oh, oh, oh man, that will blow their mind. 100%. Well, that's all we got. Yeah, hey, what a great month we had. Yeah, we did. And next week, we're going to start a brand new month with a brand new so-and-so show. So we'll see you then. Bye, everybody. At a brand new time. At a what? Well, I mean, they'll, they'll show whatever time they want, I think. Oh, right. But it, like like calendar date. I don't know. You know, we can't forget the lighting, people. Oh, yeah. Or the gaffer, as it's called in the movie biz. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Without them, you couldn't see us. Yeah. So uh, thank you, lighting people. Got electricians, gaffers, best boys. Yeah, what's a best boy? Uh, it's like the main assistant. Oh, well, I want to be a best boy. Oh, I'm sure you can be. Okay. Oh, the writers? Uh huh. Obviously, we can't do anything without the writers. You know, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. I think we'd be okay. We, we, we don't have to have writers. Uh,